Hello and welcome back to Fantasy Manager Weekly. My name is Reese. It is team selection time for game week 12. In this video today, we're going to be talking through team selection for game week 12. Obviously, transfers. Are there any transfers that I'm planning to make or would there be any transfers that I would prioritise? Captaincy. Who is the best captain for game week 25? 25? Game week 12, especially if you don't own Salah because... Spoilers, Salah is the standout captain this week. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please, please consider subscribing. We're heading on to our one, first 1,000 subscribers. We want to hit it by the end of the calendar year. So don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe if you are new. It's a brand new channel, so you probably are new. So I'm watching. It doesn't cost anything to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so... The pick team page for my team, Victor, a little off. Here it is. My team, unfortunately, kind of picks itself at the moment, but we're going to go through it and I will talk in depth about my players and what chance they have of getting a lovely little points haul this week. Matt Ryan. Now, Brighton's defensive numbers, and I'm going to pop over to understat.com here to have a little look at the clean sheet numbers. Brighton, actually, we've sorted this in terms of X, well, we will sort it in terms of XGA, which is expected goals conceded. Now, Brighton are actually fifth best in the league in terms of expected goals conceded, conceded but if you look at actual goals conceded, they're like sixth, seventh worst. So does that suggest that their goalkeeper is doing a bad job? Yes, it probably does. So while I'm back in Ryan to come on the right side of variance and get a clean sheet for once in his life, um, I'm not confident of it. So there's Brighton. And then if we look at my back three, then we've got Chilwell, Walker Peters and Dallas. And if we go onto the same page, you can see that Chelsea are the best team in the league in terms of expected goals conceded and goals conceded. So goals against 11 expected goals against easily the best there with 9.58 but then we go all the other way Leeds Dallas all the way up there 21.5 but then Walker Peters then is somewhere in the middle or the wrong side of the middle really so it's a mixed bag really with these teams but the good thing is all their fixtures are pretty decent ish so Ryan against Leicester. Now, Leicester aren't exactly banging the goals or the expected goals in. Chilwell is good defensively. Chelsea are good defensively. Sheffield United against Southampton. So that suggests, hopefully, a clean sheet for Southampton. And Dallas against West Ham is a little bit of an up and down. And we'll head on over to the clean sheet odds now to check out what the Buckies are saying. That's the wrong page. Uh, provided here by our friend over on Twitter, FPL Salah. Go and give him a follow. So we'll find Leeds first. Leeds are in the middle here with 27% chance of a clean sheet, which I'm happy with. Southampton then are right up the top with 42%. Yes, go Walker Peters. A lot of Southampton defenders and goalkeepers owned in the game, I'm sure. McCarthy, Walker Peters, we're looking at you. And then Chelsea, which oddly enough are down in the middle here for a team with the best unexpected goals conceded in the league. Um, that's a bit surprising. Um, but it's probably due to the fact that they are playing Everton, who are creating a lot of chances. So that's the defence. Midfield then, Salah. Salah is my captain going into game week 12. Of course he is. Then you've got De Bruyne against Man United. Podence against Austin Villa, who is actually playing up front against Liverpool. I don't expect Wolves to change that, change from their 4-4-2. If they're going to play, go to Anfield and play 4-4-2, they're going to go to Villa and play 4-4-2, or they're going to play 4-4-2 against Villa at home, rather, Fernandez. So I'm not getting rid of my two big hitters there. That's the plan, anyway, De Bruyne and Fernandez, because I want to keep them for the fixtures ahead. Now I'm going to bring up my excellent fixture planner now, and thank you very much for all the people who watched the last video and liked the last video. We hit our 100 likes target, so I put the excellent fixture planner up on the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, you get a free copy of this. Link's in the video description. So I'm not going to explain it to you again because I've done it every single video, but the key is on the bottom here. So the key fixtures this week are Chelsea against Everton for me, excellent attacking fixture. Leicester against Brighton, excellent defensive fixture. Liverpool against Fulham is the best fixture of the game week. 
And then Southampton against Sheffield United is pretty tasty as well. So that's the team in midfield. And then up front, I have the three Amigos. And if we go back onto Understat, still, if we change this to all the games in the league, and we filter by expected goals, non-penalty. So the three best performing players in terms of non-penalty expected goals, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Patrick Bamford and Harry Kane. That's my front three. Okay. Interestingly, then, if we sort that from only the last five games and filter by non penalty expected goals, you get Patrick Bamford, Dominic Calvert Lewin, and Timo Werner. Now, Chelsea play against Everton this week. Who, let's guess it, concede a lot of big chances? There with 15. 0.92. So Werner is actually my outside captain shot of the week. So I'm going, if we're talking about captaincy, and we'll bring that conversation up now, why not? Captaincy for this week for me goes Salah, Mane, or Timo Werner. And let me tell you why. We spoke about Werner just then. That pretty much sums it up. Chelsea playing against Everton. Expected goals, Timo Werner. Surely, for me, he's going to bang. Okay? Fingers crossed. So if you've got Werner and you haven't got Salah, captain him. That's my advice. Obviously, do your own thing. Never follow people's advice is another piece of advice I'd give you. Uh, but that's the information. Do with it what you will. Now, Mane, I would put up there as a captaincy, obviously, because Liverpool are playing Fulham. And if you don't have Salah, get Mane. Captain one of them. And the good thing about Mane is he got a rest in Europe. So this midweek, Salah played 90 minutes. I'm pretty sure Mane didn't come on the pitch at all. Jota played the full game as well. Or he played most of the game. So I still think Salah's going to play. I still back in Salah to be the best captain. But Mane, I'd probably avoid Jota. He might get benched. But Mane, definitely for me. So it goes Salah for me, then Mane for me. And then Timo Werner. And we'll head on over to FPL Salah on Twitter again and check out his odds again for the week. Salah, anytime goal scorer, right up the top there. 57% anytime goal scorer. Now, I usually prioritise the midfielders in this list because you get the extra point for the clean sheet and the extra point for the goal. So you've got Salah at 57. Ings might not play. Vardy could be a, probably, I'd probably on it in my top five of captains. Kane, I put in my top five. Mane, I spoke about, I put him at number two. Easily number two. Jota, I would avoid just in case he gets benched. He's not nailed on in that team. Aubameyang, I would put in my top five or six. Interestingly, there it is. I've said it. I'm not going to go into it anymore. Werner is my number three choice. That is captaincy, guys, for game week 12 in a nutshell. This is my team. It picks itself, like I said, because of the bench. Kilman and Mitchell, probably not going to play. Burke has been starting for Sheffield United up front, but Brewster is a threat, obviously. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you are new. We are aiming for that 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. Thank you so much for all the support so far. Good luck for Game Week 12. Let me know who you're captaining. And I'll see you post-deadline.